it's your girl Jetta J and I'm back with another video for y'all. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into this story time. So as y'all can see by the title, this is a story time about how this boy tried to have me as a side hole. Like, <laughs> but whole time. Okay, let me just get into the story. Anyways, this was like two years ago. This is when I had graduated college, right before my 23rd birthday. And I gotta go back to the beginning. So my sister had thrown a party, or not even a party, a kickback. So she decided to throw a kickback because we were moving from one apartment to a house. So this is the apartment that I told y'all about in the story time prior. I think it's my crush played me or my crush disappointed me, whatever. <laughs> so in that story time i was telling y'all like this area where they lived it's like a bunch of black people in this area so it's always some fine boys walking around at least back then now i don't know because i don't be over there but at this time that's where like most of the black people in the city was at okay so <laughs> this boy i had seen him before so yeah this was the last i think this was like literally the last day that we had to like leave this apartment or whatever or have everything out so that we can move into the house um so my sister decided to throw a kickback and so of course me and my cousins are coming over there to hang out because what why not it's a party yeah we um go over there this is like i said the last day first of all we didn't even have the key to get in like she literally used the car so that we could get into the apartment to have this kickback like she's bad but <laughs> she's fun but anyways so yeah we got basically broke into the apartment allegedly and we had some people start coming over at this time she was dating this dude we're not gonna name him ew <laughs> we're not gonna name him but she was dating this dude and he was friends with this boy who i used to have a crush on like the biggest crush every single time i've had a crush on a ninja he has been absolute trash like every single time there's not been a time where the crush was good ever like i don't know i was just blinded by the looks like that's why when y'all be mad that these prettier girls are messing with who you deem ugly niggas well, i just said niggas anyway but when they're messing with the people that you claim are ugly it's because the people who look good like according to society standards really have the worst personalities like y'all are just really bad <laughs> well not everybody but a lot of um men who look good and know that they look good they're trash as hell so yeah my crushes i'm yeah <laughs> there's more stories to come anyway so this dude i've had a crush on since i was in like middle school i was so in love with him i was in love with everybody let's be real <laughs> but seriously i just thought he was so cute and like i remember i used to like his to be honest and one day he was like to be honest you're cute like your profile picture is cute hit me up oh i right there that's still the deal for me i was like yeah we're getting married are you dumb i had never talked to him before like that though like it was just little stuff it wasn't really i didn't really know him like that like we rode an after school bus together once or twice like that's literally it i was just in love off looks at this party or whatever he came because he was friends like i said with my sister's ex and this other boy that we knew from like our childhood or whatever because they all like i said lived around this area besides him so we're gonna give him a name and his name's i'm gonna name him turtle because he looked like a turtle a little bit <laughs> he reminds me of franklin <laughs> but like i told y'all if you watch me in the I don't know what story time it was but basically i was saying i like people who look a little unique like a little odd i like people who look like something i don't know just a little character like that's cute to me <laughs> so yeah we're gonna call him turtle i hope i haven't named nobody else turtle because i'm telling y'all my taste so yeah we're gonna name him turtle and turtle like i said to me was fine when i saw him in there like when we went in immediately i was like because I'm shy when it comes to men. Like, I'm not the type to be all up in your face and all that. I'm going to sit back and if you think I'm cute and you want to mess with me, I feel like you'll approach me. Now, every now and then, I will get a little bold and shoot my shot. But it's never going to be more than, like, liking three of your pictures or 
sliding up and putting some eyes on your story like that's all you're getting out of me <laughs> i'm not doing the most i'm just sitting to the side or whatever and i'm on my phone me and my cousin are talking and then turtle the ex and the childhood friend they're all like playing dice and stuff and there were some more people in there i think but basically we were just listening to music smoking the party's not really important but i'm just telling y'all how like i got back wanting to mess with this nigga so the kickback's over it's late and i don't know who brought these people but apparently they couldn't take them home this is when i should have not been messing with him anyways because <laughs> why don't you have a car turtle and the childhood friend are both like to me basically can you take us home because we don't have a ride home now i already knew where childhood friend lived and he was just like a couple minutes down the road it really wasn't going to be going out of my way but turtle he's gonna lie and say oh yeah i live close to like i'm right down the street y'all so i'm like okay i'll take y'all home because of course i know childhood friend he's cool and hello turtle's fine so they get in my car or whatever and we're driving and I decided to drop off childhood friend first because literally he was right down the street. So I drop him off and now it's just me and Turtle in the car. He gets in the front seat and we're just riding or whatever. He's telling me where to go. We're listening to music and like we're talking a little bit. But like I said, I'm shy and I kind of know you, but I don't know you like that. Like I know of you. We're talking, like I said, he's telling me where to go, and we just keep getting further and further and further and further and further and further away from my house. Like, when I tell y'all we were driving for at least 10 15 minutes and we still went out to his house, and in my hometown, everything is close. Like, they say this city's big, but this city is small, so everything's close, and it don't take that long to get nowhere unless you live literally in a different city. So this boy, I really feel like he lived in an entirely different city. Like I was driving for 20 minutes before we got to his apartment. 20 minutes. And you tell me you're down the street. Like, it's not like I'm going to be like, okay, get out. This is too far. Like I done already drove this far. Now at this point, I got to take you home. I'm already out here. I literally had to use GPS to get back home. Like it was that far. So keep this in mind, y'all, because it's going to play into the story as well. So yeah, I dropped him off in his apartment. Well, first of all, we pull up to the apartment and he's like, um, you want to come in? <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself like, yeah, but no, like, I don't know you like that. I'm not just going to come into your apartment. I don't know if you're going to rob me, kill me. I already thought you was going to kill me because you told me you lived down the street and now we're driving 20, 30 minutes. Like, huh? So I'm like, no. <laughs> And he's like, you're playing. And I was like, nah, I'm just, I'm good. I don't want to come in. So I was like, I got to go home. So he's like, all right, um, hit me up or whatever. So I'm like, okay. He goes inside and nobody was out there. There wasn't really no cars out there or anything. There weren't no lights on in the apartment, like as far as I could see. So yeah, um, once I dropped him off, like I said, I used the GPS to get back home. I'm low-key happy because I'm just like, dang, I'm fine as hell. Like... <laughs> <laughs> for real because i wasn't even looking like nothing like i literally had on some leggings and a zipped up jacket and my hair was curly that was it so i'm just like yeah i'm cute all my crushes like me like quit playing this was 2019 y'all so this is when i started you know trying to just mingle with other people when all these ninjas was basically like trying to talk to me and stuff i was happy because i felt like like I can really get whoever I want like and I'm sitting around sad over a nigga like never never will I do that again <laughs> so the next morning even though he said some freaky stuff like <laughs> still I just know I'm fine so yeah the next um day I basically found him on Facebook which I hate when people don't have their real names on Facebook and they got all these nicknames and stuff and I've never heard you call that nickname so now I'm like looking all through my friends because I knew we were friends but like I couldn't find him off of typing in turtle like it was just something else so once I found his page I went ahead and sent the message I sent some eyes and he was basically like uh what's up I wasn't playing last night what you on <laughs> So I'm like, dang, can I get to know you first? Like, that's 
you already want to do that that's mm, i don't know at the time i was thinking damn i'm just that fine like he really wants to mess with me that bad but the whole time no he's just dirty like any man that immediately wants to put his mouth on you and don't even know you or nothing about you like just saw you he's dirty <laughs> and he's probably a cheat in a lot too basically we just started talking from there and i was just like dang like try to get to know me first i ain't really trying to do all that um we can hang out or whatever and if it leads to that it leads to that but why are you just coming out the woodwork seeing all that so basically he's like yeah um i understand i'm trying to get to know you like you're beautiful and all this stuff so that's when i start messaging my sister because of course she just threw the party yesterday so i'm and she knows he was there and she knows like i've always thought he was fine so i message her and i'm like oh my gosh like turtles in my phone talking about he wants to hang out with me he want to do this and that with me but she's like oh um such and such her ex her boyfriend at the time she's like um he i'm pretty sure he told me like he has a girlfriend or whatever and she was like and i remember one time i was around them and they were playing dice and like he was trying to win <laughs> to get some rent money so that he could pay off like he was literally gambling with his rent money i'm just like what like he lives with somebody and he be paying her bills and stuff and she's like yeah as far as i know so like i said before don't tell me nothing because i'm getting ready to go ask <laughs> I don't care like I'm getting ready to go ask now first before I asked I also told y'all I'm a stalker so I get on his page and I'm looking all through his page like she told me who the girl was and I knew who the girl was but she never posted nothing about him he never posted nothing about her like I just don't understand and that's why I'll never be the type to be like oh um I don't care about being posted or where what is it we're private not a secret fuck all that fuck all that post me <laughs> post me on that page post me everywhere talk about me everywhere i feel like y'all just be giving people opportunities to cheat on y'all granted if you get posted you can still get cheated on but no <laughs> because that way if i find out that you're messing with somebody i'm messing with i know for a fact you know i was messing with him that's when i'm on your ass so yeah um y'all need to be posted because why am i looking through your page his page and i don't see anything like when i tell y'all turtle was nowhere to be found on her page at all and usually you know the girls be having the dudes on their page nowhere then i go to his page not not even a single like from each other so i'm just like how are y'all y'all really i'm just like thinking in my head maybe they were messing around but they don't mess around no more like maybe my sister heard wrong i don't know i don't know like i was just confused so i went ahead and slid in the inbox and i asked him because at this point we he had been calling me and stuff like all types of stuff so i'm confused where's the girlfriend at i asked him and i'm just basically like oh i heard you got a girlfriend um that's weird and y'all stay together and you tried to get me to come in and all this stuff i'm like that's weird like don't play with nobody's life like that you never know what a motherfucker can do i need to stop cussing but you never know what somebody can do and you're in their house because i know what i'm gonna do so i know other people are crazier i don't want to be in a predicament like that and don't put me in nothing unless i know what i'm getting myself into so basically he's lying <laughs> he's like no i don't mess with nobody like who told you that that's weird why would i have you come over to my house if i live with somebody and all this stuff so i'm just like and granted like i said they don't have anything on each other's page so i'm kind of believing it now i know it's a lie but i was kind of believing it i was like yeah maybe the information was false you know i don't know i don't know why i gave him the benefit of the doubt just because he was fine i guess besides being young and naive young and dumb young and fake in love <laughs> yeah so he's basically just telling me like whoever told me that is lying and he's really trying to get to know me he's not playing like he's grown he don't gotta lie yeah 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 mind y'all we're 22 23 years old we're not that grown you're still lying <laughs> so yeah he's lying through his teeth and i'm just like all right bet so we still are talking y'all and when i tell y'all we talked for like two months 
that's what I'm saying and but okay there's more to the story anyways so this whole time we're talking or whatever he started acting crazy like he would if I didn't respond he would send me a thumbs up or like he would keep messaging me and be like what you own you playing you a little girl <laughs> like he would just be talking to me any type of way and he would like thumbs down my message if I didn't respond he'd be like that's your loss fuck it I don't give a fuck like <laughs> he was going in he was like you don't want to fuck with me I don't care like just doing a lot and I'd be like I'm asleep or like because literally y'all he would be messaging me at like 11 12 4 in the morning he would message me sometimes in the day but for the most part when he would message me and like blow up my phone it would be at night so she must have worked thirds <laughs> I don't know because like how like how <laughs> the way I be in my nigga's phone uh, <laughs> no he would literally always do that and he would blow me up and blow me up and blow me up and blow me up like I'm gonna try to post a screenshot if I can like mark everything out like just to show y'all how much he would call me back to back and just like just cuss me out if I didn't answer within a certain amount of time <laughs> and then he'd be like I'm not talking to you no more like I don't want to fuck with you and I'll be like okay and then the next day he would literally blow up my phone and be like what you own like I really want to fuck with you like give me a chance all this stuff and so I'm telling him I'm like yeah I don't want um just to do that like I'm looking for a boyfriend I'm looking to be in love like this is when I told y'all I had to be in love a little bit to mess with you like that so he's like oh I can do that like I'm really trying to be with you and all this stuff <sighs> he's like I'm like I don't think you can give me what I want he's like yes I can like if I gotta spoil you the first time we hang out I'm gonna spoil you like don't even worry about it. I can get you anything you want the whole time y'all like how are you gonna spoil me and you want to be with me and you really want to take us serious and the only time you hit me up is like 10 11 4 5 in the morning like you're hitting me up for a booty call so I basically tell him like I'm not a booty call type of bitch and if you're not for real and I really think you got a girlfriend like I would constantly bring that up too I'd be like don't you have a girlfriend like why are you blowing up my phone like this like I don't care if you don't mess with me why are you messaging me like it was just toxic it was so toxic because we would literally be cussing each other out and stuff <laughs> and like it was we were talking so much to the point where I started acting like him like I'll be like I don't give a fuck like I don't need to fuck with you like you're lame you're on kid shit all types of stuff I'd be like you're blowing me like you're killing my vibe <laughs> I would be uh calling his phone and stuff <laughs> at that point it just became fun to me like toxic was fun to me because my last relationship was toxic so it was fun I kind of liked it so in this time talking y'all my birthday was coming up and so he would always like I said he would hit me up late and he would ask me like what you doing what you own like who you with let's link up like I'm on your side of town like I'm over here I'm over there and all this stuff and like telling me to pull up come over so when it was my birthday I finally decided like let me go ahead and link with him because this has been going on too long I'm gonna just go ahead and let him eat this cat <laughs> and we're just gonna call it a day so mind y'all I'm still at this point thinking that he does not have a girlfriend and maybe my sister just heard some shit so yeah it's my birthday now and I tell him come pull up on me like me and my cousins were like hanging out having a little kickback getting drunk smoking and stuff and he's like oh um I don't know if I'll be able to get over there but like whenever it's over let me know like <laughs> you talking about you serious about me and you want to fuck with me but you only want to hang out with just me which I kind of understand only want to hang out with the person you want to mess with but no why don't you want to be around nobody because you got a girlfriend and somebody's gonna know you know my sister knows and she's gonna ask you don't you go with such and such <laughs> and you don't want to lie because my sister's not like she ain't like me I leave people alone like if it ain't got nothing to do with me and I really don't want to believe it I'm just gonna ignore it she is gonna go to the store <laughs> he already knew what that was gonna be about so he was really just trying to avoid like being in social situations he really just wanted to do that 
and that was that even though he would tell me like oh we don't even have to do that like I just want to hang out with you like let's just smoke and chill like let's cuddle I want you to stay the night how do you have me staying the night at you in somebody else's house sir <laughs> I'm not doing that even though like I said I didn't really know if it was true or not I'm still not gonna go over there and risk somebody coming over here because you want to lie and then y'all after so after that I basically kept spinning him and spinning him because you when I give you chances to hang out you don't be one to hang out like you want to hang out on your time and you also want to hang out when everybody's sleep and ain't nothing open but legs so <laughs> I can't do it I told you I want to be in love <laughs> so there was a time y'all where he hit me up like he was blowing my phone up and he was like oh why did you send my girl <laughs> Hold on, because you tell me he didn't have no girlfriend. So who is my girl? He's like, you sent my girl uh, our messages, like somebody screenshot these messages and sent them to her and all this stuff. And I was just like, first of all, I thought you said you didn't have no girlfriend. And what are you talking about? He's like, oh, somebody sent her our messages, um, blah, blah, blah. Like, obviously she got into your phone and she sent herself the messages and then she sent them to you like somebody sent them to her. Be serious. Why would I send her these messages and you're not even nowhere on her page? Like, as far as I know, as far as you told me, you don't have no girlfriend. So I'm like, why? <laughs> like, first of all, I'm like, I don't even know your girlfriend, even though I do know who it is. At least I know what my sister told me. So I'm like, I don't even know your girlfriend. Like, how would I possibly send her messages? And why would I like nothing in these messages but me spinning you and you trying to eat me and us cussing each other out? Like, <laughs> I don't care. Like, I'm not getting ready to send this to somebody and don't even know if that's your girlfriend. So he was like, oh, well, somebody's on some funny shit. Like, somebody sent her some shit and that's weird because we don't even go together. Like, we don't even go out. I don't know why nobody would send her nothing what <laughs> you just said my girl like at that point i should have left him alone but i like the attention i like the toxicness <laughs> so i was just going with the flow i'm like well maybe he accidentally said my girl like at that point i was just being stupid i didn't care so <laughs> what ended it though y'all was because there was this one time that me and my sister went to the gas station and I think my cousin might have been with us too. It don't matter who was there. But basically we went to the gas station and why did I see him and the girl pull up in the same car? They both got out and he looked dead at me. Mind y'all, he wasn't a passenger. <laughs> so he looked dead at me like, don't say nothing. Please don't say nothing. He looked dead at me and he like just looked and i'm staring at him and he went into the store like real quick before she looked back so i'm just like what the hell so he really does have a girlfriend and he's sitting up here line and he's been talking to me like every y'all when i tell y'all he'd be blowing down my phone and he would be like i remember one week i was on my cycle and he was like um i'm still trying to eat you like i don't care like nasty <laughs> should i put that in there <laughs> nasty so i'm just like uh and the whole time you really are living with somebody like imagine if i would have went over there y'all like what was you gonna do like this girl had a kid and everything like you're getting ready to hide her pictures with her kid and y'all <laughs> it wasn't even his kid you're getting ready to hide somebody's pictures with their kids and shit so that you can have a girl come over here like and imagine if she would have got off from work or if she wouldn't have been at work or like it could have even been a setup type situation like you're very very weird and very odd <laughs> like don't put my life in danger for some coochie i'm good but yeah don't put my life in danger for no cat because it's not that serious and yeah y'all once i saw that i literally messaged him like i'm blowing him up <laughs> i'm like you're lame like you're so weird i literally sat there and saw you and that girl at the uh, gas station and you look dead at me <laughs> y'all why you say what on oh, what i saw you like i did not see you what gas station what are you talking about like i was not out there <laughs> just lying and i was like you're lying so bad and i'm not even your girlfriend like i can't even imagine being with you like you so he's just like whatever um you ain't gotta talk to me blah 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 i'm like okay i'll talk to you later and he literally called me that day that next day and was like what you own like i'm not playing i really don't mess with nobody yeah 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 
man i stopped responding and then he kept like sliding up on my stories and stuff like trying to talk to me and talking about oh you're so pretty and stuff like that i know i am and you're not getting ready to mess with me because you're weird and you live with somebody and you're just a liar a cheater you're dirty you're nasty you're a rat <laughs> So yeah, y'all, uh, that's the story time and I will see y'all in the next one. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. <laughs> Bye.